hello there welcome back uh, so in my last video we did created a folder structure for this basic uh, advanced level framework course and uh, in this particular video i'm going to create page objects okay so in fact i'm not going to create all of them now but i will just show you a couple of how we can create and then i will create rest of so that uh, i'll not consume that much time in the video okay so now uh, okay let me go through my test cases so what i did is i just created a screenshot of the test cases what i walked you through earlier and uh, just give me a minute okay so here you see so my first test case is verify that admin is able to add the task for open status with medium priority second test case is admin is able to add the defect so these two test cases are kind of similar okay and so i would say these two test cases i can put into a data driven because both covers a similar kind of flow except few different things like uh, what kind of uh, status it is and what's the priority what's the label what's the type whether it is a task or defect or whatever whatever options we have there okay and uh, so yeah so for this we are going to create a data driven test case and for the next test case which is quite big one where we are going to check admin can create a client role user when client role user logins he should be able to see the specific uh, fields for his access and that we are going to verify db we are going to verify email and rest other stuff okay so now let me take you through what and all i need and what and all pages we are going to create okay so what i'm going to create is page object great now let me go to my eclipse and let me minimize this basic level now i don't want this now in this advanced level you see we created one package called as page objects now in this page objects the very first page i know what i'm going to need is i need something called as login page i'll say login page objects okay great and on login page objects i know what and all i'm going to need i'll need email i'll need password i'll need login button that's it in your case if you have a test case like remember me forgotten password verifying title and all those stuff you can take out all those uh, uh what i'll say web elements or locators and you can put it and you can use them as required okay now i saw one interesting um what i'll say a locator helping tool basically as a selector hub selector hub for which i'll explain you on the next video how i'm going to use it earlier we were using xpath uh, like for finding out xpath we were using a couple of tools like firepath firebug or recently we were using crowpath okay but now i uh, like uh, the creator of this crow path basically sanjay kumar he has uh, created something new called a selector hub and which is pretty good okay so i'll talk about that in my next video how we can use it okay uh, for now i'll create a page objects for my login page okay and uh, let me let me show you just one how we can create it in fact it is more or less going to be same how we did in our last framework so if i just copy one sample because i don't want to waste that much time let me just take one quick sample uh okay simply find by and web element that's it that's pretty simple okay so what i'm going to do is whatever web element i have let's say um if i take a simple example of email so i'll simply inspect this and uh, let me get it whatever i have so for this uh, email i have something called as name right so i'm going to copy this particular name field what i'll do is i will use name here so i'll say name is equal to this and this particular field is my email field email great likewise i am going to create a web element for all the stuff for example my password login so this stuff i'll create it and i'll show you later on okay but for now let me continue and show you what and all pages we need and we can create page objects for that so let me log in so let me copy my uh, user what i'm going to use is admin uh, admin user and uh, okay my password is admin at the rate Right. so this is something i already explained you in the last video what and all we how we can set the users what and all things we need to do to configure um, this demo application 
okay so now this is my uh, home page i would say this is my home page or a dashboard page basically since we do not have any kind of data so i and i did not explicitly configure any reports i'm not able to see anything into the dashboard but once we have a data you can see the dashboard here as well but anyway that is not our concern so my main concern is i would be needing all these left hand side objects for creating uh, the web elements or creating my tests what i'll do is i will inspect most of them basically whatever i wanted i would be needing projects i would be needing tasks i would be needing users so these three things i would be needing under users again under each task ta task in fact i would be needing view all and add user so i would be adding all of them uh, under something called as let me create one more page now so under page objects i'll create one more class called as uh, i'll say home page or we can call it as a dashboard whatever we feel comfortable home page or i'll say yeah that should be fine home page objects should be fine so from home page i will put whatever i need for my test cases next what i need uh next what i need is for the first test case once i log in i need task and i need to create a task basically right so what i need is i need to get this task i need to click on let's say view all and this is my task page right and from this task page i would be i would be verifying this table basically let me check in my test case if i have that yeah so i would be verifying this task page as well so what i'll call this i will call this page as a task page now on this particular task page what we are going to do is so once the task is added we are going to verify whether the task is added here and then we will verify into the db as well right so next page what i need is task i'll say task page task page objects okay and under this task page object i would put all these things uh, under the same basically okay i need some project to create the task that's fine that i'll take care of and then i would be uh, needing all those web elements which we need for creating the task okay some pop up will come as of now i don't see because i don't have any project but that's fine that uh, uh, all, all those things will come under a uh, task page okay and i think that's it from this task page the next thing is again for task so that's fine i don't need it i have already have it next thing is for creating users okay so now for creating the users i would be needing this uh, view all page that is this users page i will call this as a users page so i would be needing one more page objects for users page users page objects objects great and under this users page object what and all i am going to put add user button this table basically because i want to verify the details this edit button then there would be delete button as well i would need that and i'll once i click on add user i would be using all these fields right so i would be needing all these fields as well i am going to upload the picture and all those stuff okay so that that on all we'll see how we can upload what and all things we can use what what we should ideally then again once we add the user it is going to send the email how we can verify that email as well so all those stuff we'll see okay so that that all things will come under users page okay next what i need uh yeah once i add the user i'm going to search the user it's present in the db then i'll log in as a client and that's fine so this couple of pages we'll see later on but for now i'm good at least with what and all i need right so this is a very first step whenever i get the requirement what i'll do is i will start my analysis uh, analysis could be on the basis of test cases document what i receive or functional specification document or uh, could be could be any other document business requirement document or could be anything could be jira stories even which can help me to understand how application works what and all test cases i need to automate right based on that i will create my page objects okay so for now what i'll do is in my next video when i come back uh, okay in my next video i'll talk about selector hub followed by when i'll return back after that uh, you will see all the page objects whatever required for this particular pages 
okay because that's just a time consuming so i don't want to waste that time um but i think that should be fine okay so yeah that's it for this video stay tuned for next thank you